Here at home, people are talking online about the return of the monarch butterflies to Michigan. The butterflies' numbers have been plummeting all around the world, and now many Metro Detroiters are doing their part to turn the tide. Paula Tutman has been talking to people in the Friends of Birds and Bees and Butterflies Facebook group, and she found some amazing stuff. For the next few weeks, monarchs are looking for milkweed to lay their eggs so this fourth and final generation can continue the last leg of the journey. The last one completes about a nine-month journey to Mexico and back. Kristen LaForce is a staff biologist for DTE. And monarch butterfly populations here have declined about 90 percent. So again, you too can make changes. On the Friends of the Birds, Bees and Butterflies Facebook forum started by Debbie Moffitt. Safely behind our sunflower plant is our little butterfly house. A group of so-called B3ers have joined the movement, creating habitat, securing eggs, and watching the wonder of Mother Nature, while also assisting her. We were excited to add the addition of monarch butterflies to our um, yard this year. When we found out that they were growing underneath our porch, we were really like surprised. In every corner of the state, we're finding people who are joining this small but powerful environmental movement for the crown jewel the monarch. Now I'm releasing butterfly number 31 of the summer. Karen Hoffman, however, has been an early adopter. Some this people bring their dogs to work and you bring your butterflies? I bring my butterflies. Years ago, she became a self-taught expert whose home and office at the Wayne Metropolitan Community Action Agency have actually become certified monarch way stations through the Monarch Watch organization. You're just looking for a white dot. Oh my gosh, that's the egg? That's the egg. In three to five days, the eggs will hatch. Oh, look at that little caterpillar. I just found one. Did you? The caterpillars are the size of a baby's fingernail clipping. When they hatch, the milkweed is their food. And we clip the milkweed plants and stick them in water so that stays fresh while the caterpillars are eating. Nice. They eat and they know they shed four times. Moths create cocoons. Butterflies create the chrysalis. And is there glitter on there or is that yes. just Mother Nature? No, that's Mother Nature. Yes, there's gold. If Beautiful. you look, you can see the wings, the pattern of the wings already on the butterfly. Brought you a chrysalis. Is that for me? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Where you so can see it. <laughs> and perhaps Mary of St. Clair Shores got the most incredible video of all, the magic of rebirth. Wow, did you see that? That is absolutely incredible. So the metamorphosis is spectacular. And our biologist from DTE explains that because deer and predatory insects and, of course, lawnmowers are so fatal to monarch eggs, the more people who properly raise the caterpillars in their kitchen, the better chance that these butterflies actually have a chance to make it to butterfly hood. And here's the thing. You actually don't even need a fancy butterfly house, even though I admit I did buy one online today. All you really need is a plastic cup like this, and I anxiously await the birth of my grand monarch. Karen? I am looking forward to it, and I know you will update us. We appreciate it, Paula. You got some oh, really crazy great... crazy pose. You got some great video today. It was really cool to actually see all the development, so great story. We appreciate it. Still ahead, major retailer working to make Halloween more inclusive.